Skull identification, speed run, ready, set, go. Pick up the tag, species name is covered up. I think it's a fish, to double check, let's count the bones. One at the top, one at the bottom, lots of teeth, not enough bones to be a fish. Instead, look at this lower jaw. See how it's made out of one strong bone? That means it's a mammal. So we have a large mammal with a giant skull, and look towards the front. See this gap right here? That's kind of unusual. Evidence of some upper incisors too that places it in Periodactyla, a special type of grazing animal. But if you look at these teeth in the front, they kind of drop out of the skull. They're super long, and there's no evidence of any antlers right here in the back, so this must be in the family Equidae, meaning it can only be a horse, donkey, or a zebra. But do you see how long this skull is? Donkeys have much shorter skulls, so this can't be a donkey, leaving us with horses and zebras. And if you look right here, there's a nub called a retroarticular process. This one is kind of strange. It's relatively smooth. It's not notched or pinched or anything like that, so this must be Equus quagga aka a zebra? Let's freaking go!